Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about a very important element of track electrification that is a transmission line, feeder and distributor. We know that uh, following elements are very important for track electrification and that is a transmission line, feeders and distributors, DC distribution, AC distribution and the substation. Out of this certain elements we have discussed in our previous lectures. In this lecture we will discuss about transmission line, feeders and distributors. Now let us start with the transmission line. The power is made available to the substation through double transmission line to ensure the continuity of the supply. Substations are lying along the track and power is fed from the national grid. The double transmission line is uh, to ensure the continuity of the supply in case of fault condition in any one of the line. During healthy condition, both the transmission line carry half of the full load current, but in case of fault, any one of the line has to carry full load current. In the diagram, we can see the single line diagram for the transmission line and the substation, single unit substation. We can see that uh, from the national grid, extra high voltage transmission line are feeding power to the single unit substation. We have incoming power from the national grid. Transmission line, we have double transmission line in each single unit substation. We have four line circuit breakers. We have one transformer circuit breaker and one transformer to step down the voltage. The extra high tension transmission line is tapped from the suitable points and fed power to the substation. The voltage is tapped down at the substation and substation are fed power through the double high tension transmission line. Here we can see that we have different substation and to each substation power is fed through the double high tension transmission line. Otherwise we can use a single high tension transmission line also. So in a line diagram, we can see the layout for the double high tension transmission line feeding power to the substation as well as single high tension transmission line feeding power to the substation. But mostly we use a double high tension transmission line to ensure the continuity of the power even in the fault condition. Then let us start uh, feeders and distributors. For track electrification, the power is taken from the national grid normally at 132 kV to various substation by either single or double transmission line. From substation, feeders are brought out to feed the various distributors. For track electrification, the power distribution network is divided into number of circuits and each circuit is fed through distributors. The cable or overhead line coming out from substation to supply power at a certain fixed point known as a feeding post. So we have several feeding posts and we are taking overhead line or cable from the substation up to the feeding post 
to supply the power for the distributors. The distributors are fed at suitable points known as the feeding points from cables coming out of the substation and these cables are known as feeders. The function of feeder is to maintain constant voltage at feeding point. The feeders are designed to keep annual operating cost that include losses, interest and depreciation of the feeding cable to a minimum value. The size of the feeder is selected on the basis of minimum voltage drop and minimum annual expenses. Then distributor. The function of distributor is to maintain constant voltage throughout the circuit. The distributors are designed to keep the variation of voltage within permissible value. In electric traction system, trolley wire and track rails are forming distributors. To maintain voltage variation within permissible limit, we have to follow certain statutory regulations like uh, the voltage at trolley wire is not to exceed 550 volt and that at substation 650 volt. The trolley wire shall be divided into sections not exceeding 1.6 km in length. The potential difference between any two points of the track rail return system shall not exceed 7 volt. The potential difference between any point on the rail and earth shall not exceed 4 volt. So these are some of the regulations if we observe then we can maintain the voltage variation within a permissible limit. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.